In this video, we will discuss about friction and limiting friction. Let's see, what is friction? How everything moves in real life? Let's imagine, throwing a ball, with a force. After traveling some distance, it will come to a halt. Why? This is because of friction. This friction acts opposite to the motion of objects. We can say, it is a kind of force. All objects in our real life, come to a halt. Some come sooner, because of high friction, some take more time to come to halt, because of less friction. So, friction, or force of friction, can be defined as a force exerted by the surface, which prevents the motion of the body, and its direction is opposite to the motion of the body. The frictional force always acts tangent to the surface, at points of contact, with other body. Friction is caused, due to the irregularities, present on the contacting surfaces. Let us see, what factors on which, the force of friction depend on? Smooth surfaces, allow objects to move easily. Rough surfaces, make it tough. So, friction depends on, the nature of the surface. When a body is resting on a surface, it is pressed down against the surface, with a force equal to its weight, that is, to the pull of gravity. By increasing the weight of the body, increases the resistance offered to the motion of bodies in contact. So, friction depends on the force, holding the bodies together. We might get a doubt that, the friction is a boon, or a bane. Well, it is very useful in so many situations, such as Braking system in vehicles. Here frictional force helps stop the vehicle. Machine belts, run based on the frictional force. Here friction holds the belt and pulley. And we cannot even walk, without friction. So, frictional force plays a very big role, in our daily lives. There are some situations, where we don't want friction, such as Engines in automobiles, need lubrication oil, between the cylinder, and piston, to avoid friction. And, in mechanical parts, like gearboxes, we use lubrication, to avoid friction. We have to look at, an important point that, there will be no frictional force, in the absence of an external force, to cause a tendency, for relative motion. If we apply a force downwards, pressing the block, still there won't be any frictional force developed yet, because, this pressing force, cannot move the block. Only when a pushing, or pulling force is applied, frictional forces start developing, at the interface of the objects, in the opposite direction, and opposes the applied force. Let's consider, pulling force. And this, pulling force, is balanced by frictional force, and the object remains in equilibrium. And when the applied force, reaches the maximum frictional force, the object will be on the verge of sliding. The maximum frictional force, developed by the surfaces in contact, just before the body moves, that is on the verge of motion, is called limiting friction. The block starts to move, only when the applied force, crosses the maximum limit of the frictional force. The frictional force adjusts itself, and becomes equal to the applied force, so that, it is just sufficient to stop the motion, till applied force reaches limiting friction. In this video, we will discuss about, friction, and limiting friction.